Hello everyone. In this session, we should discuss the problem regarding the steady state error. So, in that, first look at the problem. Find the steady state error for the given unity feedback system. The system G of S equal 10 by S into S plus 5. H of S equal 1. He given different different of inputs and he is asking to find out the steady state error. First, write down the given data. The given data, the open loop transfer function g of s equal 10 by s into s plus 5. First, you should take the input. First input is 10 into u of t. So, here the type type of system is 1 yes and 10 into u of t just converted like this 10 into t power 0 u power t look at here type of the system type of system is 1 and greater than order of input so order of input is 0 that's why error is 0 steady state error is 0 second for second point second input is 10 into t u of t right so here type of system system type is 1 is equal to the order of input so order of input is also 1 here so both are same we have this is the ramp signal that's why we have steady state error steady state error we have the formula that is state error equal to a by kv a is the magnitude kv is the velocity constant what is the a value here a this is the magnitude a equals to 10 and kv equals to we can write like this let let s tends to 0 s tends to 0 s into g of s yeah s into g of s this is the formula so we should supply let s tends to 0 and we have s what is g of s here g of s is this value that is 10 by s into s plus 5 so both s's cancel and if you substituting these terms it will become 10 by 5 5 2 times 5 2 times therefore we are getting kv value is the 2 now we, we substitute in the above study state error study state error SSC sorry this is a study state error not SCC so this is also SSC study state error equals study state error equal so what is a a value is 10 here and what is kv kv value is 2 then 10 by 2 is become 5 so for this signal study state error value equal to 5 okay what is the next signal next signal equal 10 t square ut look at next given third input is 10 t square u of t here type of system type of system will be less than order of input yes type of system you know that the one order of input is two therefore we have the steady state error but it the error is infinite error is infinite okay next next is 1 plus t into u of t so next signal is next input signal is 1 plus t into u of t is the signal 
so for this first you can divide the signal into two parts the first part is 1 into u of t and the second part is t square u of t t square u of t okay so not t square sorry 1 plus t this is only t t into u of t yes so for the first for the input you can take it as a and b you can assume for a for a input is 1 into t power 0 into u of t yes here system same type of system generally is 1 is greater than order of input so order of input is 0 that's why for this particular steady state error is the 0 in this for the second case here the input is t into u of t so here type of system is 1 is equal to the order of input is also 1 both are same so we have the steady state error the formula is for the steady state error a by k v a by k v so here you know there is a 1 is there so a value is the 1 so what is k v k v equal to limit s tends to 0 g of s so limit s tends to 0 what is g of s this is the g of s 10 by s into s plus 5 10 by s into s plus 5 so there is s is there don't forget this s and s both s will be cancelled then by substituting s value 0 then it become 10 by 5 then become it is the 2 so therefore steady state error for this particular for this particular input is a by uh, a value is you know that 1 and kv value is the 2 right so therefore for this particular signal the combination of steady state error is nothing but error for a a value error is the 0 and b value error is the 1 by 2 so steady state error value is the 1 by 2 whenever he gives the combination of errors then automatically it should be it should be individually first individually divide those inputs and uh, individually you can find out the steady state error and finally you can combine them then you will get the complete steady state error the next input is here the next input is 1 plus t t square u of t so that is fifth input that is 1 plus t t square into u of t is the next input so we can divide into three parts for look at here 1 into u of t already we did the error is 0 okay so for t into u of t we did we, we already find out the error value so look at here for t into u of t the error value is 1 by 2 that is the 0.5 here the error value is the 0.5 and for this t square into u of t the error value equal infinite directly we have the error value is the infinite okay so overall error for this particular input the overall error value equal combining of the this is the zero actually so combining of these three errors first is zero second one is the 0 0.5 another one is the infinite infinite we are adding something we will get the infinite so this is the another model regarding the steady state error okay so for this particular inputs generally first you select the input 
whenever the combination inputs are given just individually you divide individually you divide the inputs then individually you are you are finding the you should find the steady state error so we have here two inputs here we, in this we have the three inputs okay that is very important point here next next we will discuss the next problem the given problem is g of s equal 10 by s plus 1 by s square s plus 4 s plus 10 find 10 into u of t and 10 into t into u of t 10 t square u of t 1 plus t into u of t these are the steady state error the first point is the first input is the first input we r of t input equal to 10 into u of t is the first input okay so the system you first look at the system type type of the system is here number of poles at z, number of poles at e, 0 equal the number of poles at 0 equal 2 that is the 2 so here system type is 2 will be greater than I can write this equation 10 into t power 0 into u of t is greater than the input input what is input here input is 0 that's why for this steady state error equals to directly we will get the 0 next for second point second input is look at the second input 10 into t into u of t okay so here 1 so system type equal to generally system type is 2 is greater than input input order is 1 okay here also steady state error will be also the 0 here next third point look at the third third is important here so third input is the 10 t square u of t is the input so here type of the system type is 2 we know that and it will be equal to the order of input it will be equal to the order of input both are the same we have we have steady state error have the formula that is a by k a why it is why it is t square means the given signal is nothing but the parabola signal given signal is the parabola but look at the input signal generally parabola signal is look like this a t square by 2 into u of t but the given signal is not like this that's why we should convert the given input so in order to convert this i will multiply so i will convert the input signal is like this multiplying by 2 dividing by 2 10 into t square u of t then it will become input r of t equal to 20 t square by 2 u of t this is the input signal this is the input signal okay now we will apply now we will apply the formula so now we will find out the k from this what is k a here ready to write here no problem at all what is k a you know that the formula of k a equal limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s here the ka equal to limit s tends to 0 s square g of s is nothing but s plus 1 by s square into s plus 4 into s plus 10 so both will be cancelled then we are applying we will get the ka equal to 1 by 4 into 10 you will get 1 by 40 1 by 40 therefore we can write the steady state error here a by k where is a a value you know the a value is 
a value is the look at here here what is a value here 20 from this signal so 20 by 1 by 40 by doing the multiplication we will get yit so therefore steady state error equal to yit okay this is the one of the model yit okay now we will find out 1 plus t 1 plus t square 1 plus u of t okay so you can do these two following the same principle you will get these answers also okay so here you you need to understand the one important concept the concept is the parabola always have always the parabola input is always follow this that is a t square by t u of t it should be in this form otherwise it is not applicable to apply the to finding the steady state error okay this is a very important thing okay so these are the different models i think all of you understand this session thank you